friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. Always amazing to have you. Welcome to my back to school haul. If you are new here, I have two kids. I have a son named Max. He is six years old. He's going into first grade. And I have a daughter named Penelope who is three and a half, almost four, uh, but she is actually in pre-K, in preschool. My kids are on the younger side, so I don't, you know, stock up on all the academic stuff like the textbooks and uh, binders and big, you know, spiral notebooks. Their stuff is pretty simple, uh, but they do have back to school stuff nonetheless. I always enjoy making this video. It is a little bit late in the season. A lot of my friends down south, their kids are already back in school. We actually just got back from a longer vacation. We were gone for about 11, 12 days, so I haven't had a chance to, you know, get everything together and shoot it for you but as I always say better late than never so I think I'm gonna start with backpacks because they're the bigger items and I feel like a lot of you have questions about the backpacks so I did buy Pottery Barn kids backpacks for my kids last school year um, the only thing I regret about Penny's backpack it's still fantastic it's still is in very good condition. She actually didn't use it all that much. So of course, it's going to be in good condition. But I got her the small size, which is fine if she just has to throw, you know, one change of clothes and a sippy cup and a snack in there. But honestly, guys, when I pack up her stuff for uh, preschool or even daycare, I send in a lot of stuff. Like they still have nap time. So I had like a blanket and a sheet, uh, her lunch stuff, her water, a change of clothes, her other essentials. Um, when they have water play, I had to put a, you know, sunscreen, uh, bathing suit, extra clothes and all that stuff. Now I am talking summer school, but I like to use the backpacks all year round, especially if I'm going to pay a lot of money, right? Like I want to get more bang for my buck. So I decided to upgrade her to a bigger, this is the large size Pottery Barn Kids backpack that everybody goes crazy for. They are a little bit pricey. Sometimes they do put them on sale. So look out on the website, keep checking, but they are fantastic and they do last a long time. She's really into Disney princesses right now. We just got back from Disney World and she did the whole Bippity Bobbity Boutique experience and she had a blast so I figured let's stick with the Disney princess theme since that's what she's kind of into now love the features on this backpack the thing I love most about the Pottery Barn kids backpack is this strap here on the front that um, actually keeps it on because my kids take a school bus and it's so annoying when they're like flustered and they're dropping their stuff sometimes the aid the bus aid will snap it for them and they're already strapped to their backpack I don't have to worry about them dropping it on their way off the bus and you know walk into the car padded straps very good quality um, it does have a pouch here in the front. I'll show you the inside of that. It has a couple of compartments there. And then it has the bigger pocket here, which is where obviously you would put all your books, your lunch bag, um, everything else, folder, all that good stuff fits in here. And it does have a little slip pocket that Velcro shut right there in the back. It also does have um, this little label here so you can put their name and your phone number in case the bag gets lost. Again, Max actually has uh, the Mandalorian backpack. He still has that one from last year. He used it every single day and he was very rough on that backpack. It's still in good condition. It's still usable. However, I'm starting to see a little bit of wear in the strap. He will still alternate and use that this year, but I did get him a new backpack, but we'll get into that in a second. It does have two drink compartments here on the side, um, which is great for water bottles. All right, for Mr. Max, I decided to upgrade his backpack to something a little bit more, I don't know, big boy. I I have a hard time seeing the fact that my kids are growing up. Max still likes all the Pixar stuff. Like I did still get him, you know, Pixar design stuff, but I don't know. I just feel like the solid blue. I love this North Face backpack. I actually found this on Zappos.com, which actually operates under Amazon. When I got it, it was like delivered by Amazon in an Amazon box. Who knew? This bag had great reviews and it has really nice features. I like it because it's a big boy backpack, but it's like smaller. It's actually a tad smaller than the large Pottery Barn uh, kids backpack, um, which I kind of like because this is more snug to his body because he's still a little. Um, and I love the compartments on this. It has um, a closure here that clips. And then um, you have a compartment here that you can use right in the front. The feature that I love the most on this bag are the drink pockets. His Pottery Barn Kids um, backpack, his water bottle was always coming out of the side. Now I get him the big water bottle, so um, I feel like the Pottery Barn Kids are meant for the shorter water bottles, which is fine, but the big ones will constantly slip out. I could even fit like a 20 ounce in here or those 24 ounce bottles, and I feel like it would be very nice and secure. It does have two pockets here for drinks, so you can pick either side, and it has the bungee cord, so I already tried it out guys the water bottle is going to be super secure in here um, especially the size that we use padded shoulder again this is a north face backpack so it's going to be good quality um, i think i got it on a deal for about 40 bucks which i think is a good price for a backpack it's way less than the pottery barn kids backpack and it does have obviously the big pocket here 
which is where I have all his school supplies, which I will show you after the backpack. Um, it also does have the label here, so you can uh, put their name and their phone number. It does have a slip pocket here, if you can see that. Um, if you want to slip a folder back there, but again, this is a great size for what we need and I just love it It's like a little kid backpack, but still kind of big boy So I went with this. I love the yellow on the front and again, I found this on zappos.com through Amazon All right jumping into simple modern. So I love this brand I've been using it for I think two years now and no complaints I did have a lunchbox that broke, but I think that was our fault. I was putting it in the dishwasher on the bottom rack sometimes you know in a scramble and i think it just started to wear down so for max last year we got him the mandalorian um, with grogu on the front this year we decided to just get him the toy story one i saw this one last year and i really really wanted to get it but then i went with the star wars one since he had the pottery barn kids mandalorian backpack now that he just has a blue backpack i can go with whatever lunchbox so um i just love it it has cars on there he loves cars he loves mater features are the same right it has the carrying strap here little snap there and then the inside is insulated and nice and cushioned here you have it's kind of like it's not foil like the previous one um it's kind of just like a plastic like a thick nice plastic it does have a little strap here see that velcro strap if you want to attach a water bottle which is nice and then here you have a zip pocket if you want to put utensils napkins all that good stuff right in there so again we've used these before we love them and i was happy to find this print for miss penelope since we were going with the princess theme at least for her backpack so i decided to keep it you know consistent um i did get her the same lunchbox with the princess themes look how pretty you got snow white and ariel and rapunzel with she loves all of them also i just realized there's a zip pocket here in the front so that's the front of the box and there's a zipper here so you can fit a few more things in here napkins utensils all that good stuff i like that feature i actually did the last one i don't think the last one had that feature picked her up the lunch box to match the bag i didn't get max a lunch box um at least not he doesn't need one now because we just bought um two simple modern ones when the last one broke because i got a deal on them on amazon and they're practically new it's like a cars one and then there's a pixar one but for now i just picked this one up it's technically called the premium lunchbox by simple modern it's called the porter bento box and this one obviously has the disney and the inside is the same i'll take this um thing out so you can see the inside the layout is the same on the box i love it i can fit a lot of yummy stuff in here again this is a bento box so you can't put like whole sandwiches in here but i put sandwiches in here all the time i just have them and you know have them face up uh, but again i like to you know put an assortment of things in my kids lunchbox so this is a great one one more item by simple modern i did get penelope a new water bottle um this one goes with the print from the lunchbox and the lunch bag um it's just the disney princesses i did get her the shorter bottle i feel like she doesn't drink as much water as max does as fast as he does um so this will fit nicely in the pottery barn slip pocket on the side for the drinks and again has rapunzel ariel all the pretty princesses it's pink she's gonna love it all right last simple modern item that i purchased and honestly guys when i um went on the website i bought it directly through simple modern because they were doing a deal spend a hundred dollars get twenty dollars off which i think is fantastic it was 20 or 25 which hello that's a very good deal these lunch pouches i purchased these last year with the ninja turtles and i still use them for max these are amazing you can fit so many snacks in here and my kids like i have to pack two snacks so you can fit a lot in here and you get three in the bundle so the large one i was able to fit so many snacks in here for max last year then there was like that medium size one and then you get a teeny tiny snack bag you can put pretzels chips you can put so many um goldfish you can put so many snacks in here and again this one is pink so it's actually different from this disney collection but it still has the princesses and honestly guys i don't care if it matches if it has princesses she's gonna be happy this was a target find i needed new New, um ice packs last year was a disaster with just the two ice packs you know i would wash it leave it in the dish rack forget to put it in the freezer and the next morning no ice pack so i decided to pick up a few more a few extra these are by bentco i did find them in the target back to school section they are called bentco buddies reusable ice packs they're fun colors this one's like a little french bulldog how cute is that shape and it comes with these colors here i did also pick up a water bottle for mr max a brand new one these are the contigo bottles my kids love these water bottles my daughter is branching out my son will use a simple modern he has a big buzz lightyear one um but it's aluminum and every time he drops it that metal and it dents and i'm like all right let's take the plastic for a little bit but um he likes the contigos i love the pop-up on these the only thing is the zipper part it's actually not replaceable and once they start chewing on them and they start getting the dents and ripping you have to unfortunately replace the full bottle all right so this is 
back to school but kind of back to school clothing in a way so for my kids i usually like to get them like rain shoes or um, all weather shoes for the start of school for mr max i have not found the right pair i actually ordered a pair of columbia like all weather sneakers and they did not fit him well so i have to send them back unfortunately so i'm still looking out for all weather shoes for him but i did find some rain boots that miss penelope does love i showed them to her and she was like oh my god mermaid so these are by western chief family owned and bringing smiles since 1891 wow they've been in the business for a while penelope has had a rain jacket from this brand it was a mini mouse um little parka cute thing with the hood and the ears very cute it doesn't fit her anymore it was like when she was two but i found these rain boots and i love them because well so does she hello they have a mermaid tail um so these are adorable they fit her great she loves to wear them they have a little bit of room so she's going to be able to wear them throughout the season i found these on amazon and i like them because they had them part of the prime try before you buy so i was able to order them not pay for them try them on see if i like them and keep them if we like them which we did so we got them and look at that so adorable she's gonna look so cute this is for those rainy days in the fall and again, I just love to get rain shoes for my kids. Still looking for Mr. Max, but we'll get there. All right, now getting to some miscellaneous, random, small school supplies. So I did pick up a few things for myself that are technically back to school, but I'm not going back to school. Um, so the Star Wars collection by UB, I fell in love with it. I love Star Wars, I love UB, I love school supplies, um, and I love pens. So I picked these up for myself, even though Penelope will probably confiscate this from me. Um, this is Grogu from The Mandalorian. It's just like a palm puffy pen, and I will probably keep this on my desk just for fun and then who doesn't want the lightsaber pens a lot of people online were giving these grief because the sabers actually didn't light up but they were like five dollars six dollars so i was like how much do you expect if they look like lightsabers and they work as a pen I'm buying them. Picked up a notebook from Mr. Max that has Grogu from The Mandalorian as well. This is also part of the Star Wars UB collection. Primary journal, this was requested last year, it was on a school list. These are for grades K through two and they have um, the lines like this. So you can draw the picture and then do your um, letter work on the bottom. So this was requested by Max's teacher. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this when I showed the lunch boxes. So this is by Cat and Jack. So obviously I picked it up at Target. It is a cutlery set, four pieces. Um, I love that you get chopsticks in there and you get a fork and a spoon and then it closes nicely very inexpensive four dollars and if she loses it i won't feel bad because you know it's not that expensive picked up some ticonderoga products i love these erasers that are shaped like pencils super adorable and then here you have my first pencils guys you know what glue sticks are i already opened this pack because the teacher is actually only requiring five sticks to be sent so i already separated them um so we keep we'll keep this as extra for him to use at home and then this will send in for his classroom picked up some crayola markers these were like a dollar at target very good deal i'm not sending these into school because they did not request them however my kids need new markers and i'm working on their crafting section so i picked these up in the back to school this was on max's school list these are um crayola washable watercolors when they do their easel art which is so adorable um so she just requested the palette with the eight so that's what we got found this at walmart for a very very good price expo dry erase markers fine tip low order found them at walmart very standard pick these up for his class as well got some crayola crayons this was also on his school list oh by the way they did request a pencil box but the pencil box that he used last year is in fantastic shape we got it at target it's one of those plastic click open um, and shut pencil boxes it's still in great shape and we bought it for like $2, so he's going to use that again. Also requested were some folders. Walmart had some for like 19 cents, but they were so flimsy, so I decided to just go with the five-star. This will last all year because in and out of his backpack and in the classroom, they start to like wear down, so I decided to just get something a little bit sturdier. These were literally on sale for like 59 cents. What a deal. And then again, have to do a folder for Penelope. This is actually from the Dollar Tree, has Disney princesses. She's gonna love it. All right, friends, that is everything for my back to school haul. Not much here, but there's some good stuff. I hope that I was able to give you some ideas. I know that most of you already sent your kids back to school. So you're like, what am I watching this for? But it is a good way to give you some ideas of stuff that we're using and stuff that I've used that I can attest to them being good. So this is great. Simple Modern, love it. We've been using it for two years, but hey, you never know. Maybe the lunchbox that you got your kid breaks down by november and you have to buy new stuff so maybe my suggestion to get simple modern will help you out later down the road so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed i would appreciate it if you help my channel grow hit that red button also hit the bell icon so you're notified when i release new videos i still have disney content coming up i have more halloween and fall stuff coming up so i'm happy to have you here i'll see you guys on the next one bye